Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Sagittarius. So this week I have to make these readings a little shorter because I had a microphone malfunction, had to start all over again. What a disaster <laughs> after six videos. So here we are, I will make it up to you on the singles reads. Right, Sag? See what's happening with you, the energy. There we go. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone here is decisive. There's definitely someone here who's kind of thinking things through. They definitely want to start something here. It's a passionate new beginning. And someone is likely attracted to you. That's often a person who's very passionate, very creative, but they're thinking something through. So if you have something, it could be anything, the spark okay of passion it could be a creative endeavor it's saying to think things through if it's yourself this could be another person knight of swords someone someone choosing their battles this is a person who chooses their battles whether something's worth going after and it's a person who's going to think things through okay so it, the, it, the message is is to think things through yeah There we go. This one and that one. So we have the moon. So yeah, a little confusion, often fantasizing, often romantic feelings as well. And then we have the knave of swords, knight of swords. So this is someone who chooses their words wisely. They're careful what they say. Be very careful of somebody here that comes in that if you feel, this is a card of intuition as well. If you feel something isn't right, they may not be telling you everything okay so just to be sure but this is also a person who's often very curious okay it could be a secret admirer someone who's just curious they're choosing their battles whether they should go after it they're likely very finding you attractive but often it's a uh, just an energy of someone uh, something a person's very passionate about okay it's often the start of a creative pursuit so we shall see well, there we go and we have the magician yeah so be careful someone doesn't ma manipulate here sag okay because when i see that it's someone who often manipulates a little and it's it but i do see a creative pursuit you know it's a person it could be even uh creative uh writing okay because it is a card of curiosity knowledge communication thinking okay it's a person who's logical they choose their words wisely so it could be you know a creative pursuit creative writing here it popped into my head so but there it is it's trying to manifest something new so but just watch out for anyone who's being secretive it's not what they do say it's what they don't say okay they're choosing their words wisely but it doesn't mean they're up to anything it's a person who's trying to manifest i do see a gemini energy possibly a cancer energy and then we have the six of pentacles so it has to do with yeah you know, just be a little cautious with someone what they're it's not what they are telling not telling you it's not what they are telling you it's what they're not telling you a little bread crumbing so it's about being exploited so watch out for somebody trying to uh, take advantage by not telling you everything or they're trying to get the advantage but it's right in the heart of the reading so it's somebody who's definitely creative that's why i feel choosing the words creatively you know it could be just somebody who's curious about you too so we'll see and then we have three of pentacles so it has to do with yeah definitely something creative okay but that doesn't mean it's not a love interest or someone who's not attracted to you or just attracted to you but it has to do with cooperation compromise so there's something that needs to be acknowledged so it has to do with acknowledging something here now it could be the things you have in common this could be someone thinking that they're looking at all the things you have in common but this six of pentacles is being careful someone doesn't take advantage of you now it's often sometimes you flip that energy and it's somebody who's been taken advantage of before okay so there we have the world so it has to do with some kind of change some kind of change here with the world now that this is often abundance something creative acknowledging the things that you um have in common or it's just a creative pursuit two people coming together collaborating so it could be a collaboration of sorts here too uh, working in a team setting but it has to do with the going down this path something needs to be acknowledged first so yeah we have a single. no that's what it is they're trying to find out if you're single 
Okay, or be careful this person, they manifest you, they don't take advantage, they just wanna be single. And I'm gonna read both sides because I can see both energies here. So, but I feel it's a person who's gonna to try to manifest here. But I don't think they're gonna tell you everything you need to know right away. I do feel this is someone who chooses their words carefully. That can't be denied. So in some way, it is a form of manipulation, but um, it could be somebody who's trying to find out if you're single. Okay, this is about whether they should go after this or not. Okay, whether they should go because they're becoming, they're decisive here and then a little less here because there's some kind of confusion, something they don't know. Okay, or they're keeping a secret. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a secret admirer, someone who just kind of holds back and they don't say too much because it's someone thinking things through just because of the way the card's facing, they're thinking this through. This is likely a person who's rushed into something before, okay, and had to back out. So whatever it is they're saying, they're saying it carefully in case they have to back out. It's not something that they may want or, yeah. So let's have a look at the Knight of Swords. Why is this here? So we have the Elder of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's financially Oh, stable. It's like the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody, it doesn't mean they're older, but they could be. It's just someone who's uh, financially stable. So really be careful of someone here. Maybe try to find out that someone takes advantage of you, you if you have money. So watch that. Ground yourself. Look at the details if it's yourself. But it could be this person as well. Could be a job situation, a creative pursuit. So it's not what they are telling you. It's what they're not telling you you want to watch for. Okay, this is somebody who definitely, you know, if they are manipulating, they want it to go in their favor. Now, it could be a job situation where they they are actually stable, act like they're not, and they don't want to pay you enough. So watch that because it's often someone who takes advantage of someone uh, financially. Okay, so be a little careful. But I'm actually seeing a lot of positive here too. So let's have a look at the Ace of Wands. Why is this here? Yeah, so there's definitely, yeah, there's two people here, two a cup. So this could be a friendship, could be a friend, a family member, somebody you work with, any situation in your life. So I feel what we have is some kind of choice. And now we have the, something to do with a missed opportunity, okay? Or a thank you, but no thank you. Now we know that Queen of Pentacles, it could be yourself, but it is an energy of someone who's, you know, financially stable, Somebody who's very balanced. Also a person that can be a little cautious and, uh, you know, very gracious. Thank you, but no thank you. But it almost looks like someone here feels they missed an opportunity because they rushed in and then backed out. So that's what it looks like here. So it's about not missing this opportunity, but it's possible if there's some kind of choice. Okay, maybe between two people, someone may have uh, rushed in, backed out, maybe chose another person. Maybe they kept it a secret, okay? So, and it could be a job situation, but they, I, I got a funny feeling here. There's definitely a physical attraction here between two people, but it's like somebody failed to recognize, they failed to see this opportunity. Um, because I feel like they kept something to themselves. Now, it's often, this is often romantic feelings, physical attraction, so it's two people who've drank from each other's cup already. There's already this connection. So someone feels they've missed an opportunity. Maybe they chose another person. Okay, maybe they stopped talking to you. It's possible there is no talking here. But they're shining a light. They're shining a light on this. So I don't know if they were confused or um, what the issue was. So, But just be careful for those of you that someone doesn't um, have a choice. Okay. So if you've been rejected by somebody yourself here, um, you know, this is likely why. Maybe you're more stable than they are. But just watch out for anyone trying to take advantage, any kind of exploitation. So let's have a look at the moon. Yeah, see, it's a five of pentacles, some kind of lack. See, someone's hiding that they don't have a lot of money. Or that it's just insecurities that they keep to themselves. Because it's often a little bit of... A fear. Now, the moon is also about two people being emotionally intimate, emotionally naked, put it that way, okay? Exposing their true self. So somebody's 
kind of kept something hidden here. Maybe they don't have a lot of money or they act like they didn't. Maybe they took advantage of your kindness. Or maybe you were paying for things. Maybe they, you know, they're acting like they didn't have money and they did. So whatever the situation, somebody took advantage, I feel here. Yeah. I'm not sure, or some, you, it's an energy of feeling like someone has. Let's have a look at the Knave of Swords. Yeah. Eight of Wands. I feel like, I feel like this, there's, there was some kind of communication. Uh, I feel it was quite sudden, out of the blue. Uh, something this person said was lacking. There was some kind of lack. Now, it's either just a lack of communication because they were keeping secret. I, it could be just insecurities where they didn't feel like they had enough money. Maybe you're more financially successful. But there's been a missed opportunity or a rejection. Maybe someone rejected you for someone else or maybe you did. I don't know. But there's definitely been some confusion. So you know, it looks like this communication, this Eight of Wands, or something missing or lacking in the communication. And it's a person who it looks like multiple opportunities. It could be someone who stopped talking to you because the other opportunities came in. They may have manipulated, okay? And maybe they feel that you were. So, but whatever it is, there was something hidden in the communication that was lacking. And it's it more is than likely because of some kind of insecurities. But let's have a look at this magician. A little confusing. It's going to be probably a little different for everyone. Yeah, so there's the tower. See the sudden realization? Yeah, this is where someone finds out someone's single. Someone's finding out suddenly that you're single or someone's become single suddenly. Or we have someone who's acting single when they're not. It's going to be one, it's one of those. But I feel it's someone trying to manifest. Now, it could be someone who manipulated a little. Maybe you're having that realization. They just want to be single. But it looks like someone finding out suddenly that you are, okay? Or somebody else is single and they, like I say, it almost looks like we got, um, somebody maybe chose somebody else, rejected you because they had a communication from someone here who is now single or found out they are, whatever's happened. But I feel there was this lack of proper communication. So it has to do with somebody taking advantage. Yeah, so we have the 10 of pentacles so someone here wasn't giving now i don't know if this is someone who is making you pay for everything they acted like they have no money but they're actually someone who generally has everything they need and there's that novice of swords so there's that page of swords energy so this is someone here who's didn't tell you something they kept it to themselves now i don't know whether they're a business owner they actually have lots of money uh, they acted like they didn't or they just wanted to be single. But it looks like someone's finding out that you're single right away or someone else. So it's like maybe they were dropping breadcrumbs to you or they just stopped talking. Or they weren't paying their fair share. If you have a date with somebody and you connect and then they make you pay the bill, okay, they act like they don't have money, watch out for that. Uh, watch out for anyone who's asking for money right now with this energy, okay. But it looks like someone's finding out that you're single right away or somebody else single came towards them. It was sudden, very quick. It's almost like things ended. It's um, Somebody's cut somebody off here. Could be ghosting too, where someone ghosts somebody suddenly. Let's have a look at the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the star. See, this is somebody here. It has to do with someone who feels another person's out of their league. So... The situation's out of reach. Yeah. So this is an energy of somebody who I feel kind of moved on here. So we have two single people. I think someone's finding out you know, that you're single. And maybe that you're successful, that you take care of yourself. It's also an energy of independence. So uh, maybe even a business owner, somebody fairly well off. So just be careful someone doesn't take advantage of you. Okay, that's definitely here. There's just no doubt about it. But for others, I actually feel this is someone who had insecurities. Uh, they kept it to themselves. 
It also has to do with the fear of emotional intimacy as well because they weren't sharing. They weren't telling you the things you need to know. They weren't sharing their thoughts, their feelings. In fact, there was lack. So because I and it's this is an energy with somebody who's been in their head. See, they chose their words wisely, very careful what they say. Be, and there's an energy of this is somebody's hopes and dreams. You see? Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, some kind of collaboration. But it does feel like there's an energy of three people. Okay. So, but I feel here, uh, for most of you, it has to do with the things you have in common. They feel like this is someone who felt like you were out of their league or the situation was out of reach. But it, yet it's their hopes and dreams is to cooperate and compromise and come together. Little Aquarius energy. So they have Aquarius in their chart. Little tower could be Aries, Scorpio, it's Mars energy. And then we have the world. So there's some kind of change. This is somebody coming back around. Some of you have moved on, you're single. You're actually looking elsewhere. <laughs> this is what this card tells me. See, looking out there. But it looks like someone's finding out you're single here for most of you. Or vice versa. And there we have the high priestess. Trust your intuition. You already know. Okay. Yeah, I think you already know everything you need to know. I think you know that this person acted acted like they didn't have money or they had insecurities, emotional uh, insecurities here. Or they just felt like they weren't good enough. Um, it's an energy of somebody here who starts something uh, with lack. Okay. They come in with lack. And it could be lack of money. Okay, it could be lot just insecurities, emotional. They're, they're just definitely keeping a secret. And with a high priestess, I feel like you already know everything you need to know. So it has to do with the world, some kind of change. It's like you probably know this person will come back around, but you may have you may be thinking like you know everything. You may be moving on. Now this also has to do with releasing something. The stars. This is the star card in this deck. So it's about releasing. Letting go of things that no longer serve, you see? So for yourself, I feel like you're probably moving on and looking elsewhere. I feel like you're enjoying the fruits of your labor as you're single, but there's someone's finding out you're single. Now, I don't know if they feel like you manipulated them or they, they've been taken advantage of before. So, uh, but I, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is financial stability, safety, security, uh, it's about partnering up. It's whether someone has your best interests at heart. See, someone felt you didn't have their best interests at heart. So they kept something a secret and they didn't tell you. So they were choosing their words wisely, They're very careful what they say. But I'm, I'm almost seeing like both of you are that you both may feel the same way. It's where two people feel like both you're both manipulating each other. Because of the single, because of the financial stability, money, and also the fear of emotional intimacy, secrecy. So whatever is going on. So let's have a look at this nine. I want to get this very straight and clear before I shuffle this last card. I don't want to just randomly grab one. Nine of Pentacles. Why is it here for Sagittarius? Yeah, the emperor. So you have an S is actually an emperor here. Yeah, the lover is a choice. This is someone who maybe made a choice in love. Um, they may have choices. But it's also an energy of someone's path. Tell me, what is this emperor's intentions? Looks like somebody with Aries, maybe Taurus. Um, yeah, so there's definitely other people involved, friends and family. Something to do with community, community online dating, social media. See, it has something to do with a business here too, a place. Um, and there, there's the truth. So there's some kind of truth here. Someone's going, aha. Now it has to do with someone I feel who missed an opportunity and should have told you the truth. Someone knows they should have told the truth. I feel they made a bad decision. Uh, it is possible this is someone who, maybe they weren't single. Maybe they are now possible someone may have started something with you and you know they came in with luck where they were actually and that could be money like i say more often than not it's just insecurities lack lack of money okay um but it's you know it's a self-fulfilling prophecy it's very you know it's a negative uh, way to start something and being very secretive but i feel they should have told you the truth they were either involved with someone else 
Um, they weren't completely single or they just wanted to be single. But there's something to do with friends and family here. Some kind of truth. So let's see. What is the truth about this three of cups? There it is. Yeah, this is somebody who's in hermit mode. So this is someone who's been contemplating their life path, their love life. Uh, somebody who spends a lot of time alone. So they, this is someone who definitely keeps their circle small. Uh, what you may have in common is some friends or family. So they know something they were keeping a secret. Now, it's possible this is someone who was connected to somebody you knew and they didn't tell you or you already knew or they knew you knew. <laughs> okay. And that, yeah, because it's like uh, there's someone not, both people not, saying everything they need to say or like I say it's two people feeling like the other person's manipulating so but I mean it's possible it has to do with friends or family or community or somebody secretly being online dating uh, maybe they met somebody that's a friend in your social circle and they kept it a secret or you did okay whatever it is it's like you both feel the other person's manipulating it's in the heart of the reading but it's like we got two people trying to manifest each other and kind of going about it maybe the wrong way or it's just like the vibe here the secrecy so i just want to look more at the moon see it has to do with somebody who acts like they don't have money have money but they actually have everything they have everything they need possibly a house and home but it's also an energy of uh, see somebody here may have even been in a relationship and kept it a secret and then suddenly became single at some point um can't really see any other way this could go but it has to do with their house their home their financial foundation so yeah somebody who walked away uh, from a relationship it wasn't emotionally fulfilling so this this likely happened they connected with you uh, maybe they rejected you because of somebody else but there's definitely been a secret they're either in a relationship or they just came in with maybe, you know, like I say, I feel like they don't have money, but they actually have everything, even a home. Or they've left a relationship because it's not emotionally fulfilling. This is someone who's searching for something. Now, it could be a person who um, tells you that they are in a relationship, that it's not very happy, they're not emotionally fulfilled, and they're actually going to try to take advantage. So uh, that I see. That's a very common energy. People who come up and say, hey, I'm in... I'm in a relationship, but yeah, they should have just told you the truth. That's what I feel. Or they just want to be single. But there's definitely that energy of someone taking advantage or just that breadcrumbing, not really telling you everything you need to know, keeping secrets. See, they kept a secret. So either they were involved with someone that you know may have met them online or through other people that you're all traveling in the same social circle but this is the energy of them looking for truth contemplating their life path see they're looking for clues looking for answers it's an energy of someone who's searching for something so i don't know what the secret is like i say maybe they did have a you know a, a relationship that was really bad and they've walked away but they're, yet they're not completely single but there's the tower coming down or it looks like they are at some point here or it's yourself but i i feel uh, the strongest energy i'm seeing here is is that you travel in the same social circle and they're looking for clues and answers they're looking for some kind of clues with this hermit energy within themselves to do with their path in love but it also could be someone looking online trying to find something out and maybe it's yourself and maybe you found it out okay because i see this energy of change in the world some kind of change to do with this person's um you know being single and their financial stability this is a person who generally has everything they need i mean it could be someone who's searching for love but just watch out they don't take advantage somebody doesn't tell you that you know i'm in a bad relationship we're almost divorced and then you find out that they're not really, you know, uh, telling you the whole truth because there's a secret with the moon here. And there's definitely a lot of confusion, um, a lot of illusion kind of energy. It's the illusion of not it's not what they are saying. It's what they're not saying. So tell me more about the eight of cups. 
don't feel like this is going to go much further. Yeah, so it's about looking at the details. See, it's connected to the um, Elder of Chalices, or the Elder of uh, Pentacles, the, the Queen of Pentacles energy. So it has to do with you feeling safe and secure, feeling stable, feeling comfortable. See, I feel your intuition's telling you something doesn't feel right. And maybe you already knew, maybe you already know, maybe you know all of this and you're not telling them. But it's almost like, <laughs> it's just two people, it's not trust so much, but it's like both people feel like the other, you're manifesting each other, but you both feel like the other person's not being completely honest. So it's just, I, I feel it has to do with two people who probably just need to talk, but really look out for somebody because I feel with this novice of pentacles, you're looking at the details. There's something, the details of the situation, the conversation, what they're not telling you. Okay. I feel that's really important. So, uh, I mean, it could be uh, this person has a lot of feelings because there's definitely two people who've drank from each other's cup, but someone feels they missed an opportunity or... Maybe they rejected you for someone else and, you know, because of this, this magician energy. It's almost like you mirror each other in some way too, you know, and then it's funny because we have this. It's like you're both thinking the same thing about each other. So I feel that, you know, like anything, a good conversation can usually clear things up. Yeah. They're looking for clues, though, when it comes to that Three of Cups. See, this is someone who's indecisive. See, this is someone who failed to recognize. They failed to see uh, something here. Or maybe it's yourself, but this is something to do with this person, something to do with them, their self. Now, this could be yourself if you have Virgo in your chart, uh, failing to see or unable to make a decision, but it's someone had the blindfold on. They weren't seeing something. So maybe it's just an energy of someone ignoring their intuition, what it was trying to tell you. Tell me about the high priestess, a little Pisces, Cancer energy. Uh, and then we have the three of wands. So there's an energy of waiting. See, waiting for some kind of communication. Uh, something that you maybe wanted here. And waiting for this person to come back around. So you probably know this is someone who will come back around. <laughs> I, I feel this is someone who feels they missed an opportunity because... I guess overall, it's it, two people feeling the other person's not being completely honest. I'm not going to say manipulation because maybe for some of you, you got someone who's trying to take advantage. Okay, but it's all in the details with that novice of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. It's all in the details. Okay, and that is connected to the queen of pentacles up here. So it's a, it says to think things through. Choose your battles wisely. Think this through before you rush in. Okay. Now it could be this person who did, they didn't think things through properly and they rushed in before they were ready because it looks like they were walking away from something, but there's something missing in the details that's hidden and that's what it's trying to tell you. So it's, like I say, a little different for everyone. So just really pay attention. Yeah, and then we have justice. So this has to do with someone, justice, marriage, commitment. See, someone who just wants to be single. So it has to do with somebody who acted single who wasn't for some of you. Others of you, it's just someone who wants to be single and they didn't tell you the truth. They took advantage of your, maybe your generosity, your time. And they weren't telling you. And there's something definitely about their finances, I feel, too, or some very deep insecurities. But it's like they came in with lack because like, there's something lacking in the details of this. And I think you're going to pick up on it, okay? So that's why I feel with the high priestess, you already kind of know or you figured something out here. <laughs> but I feel this person feels like you're out of their league. Uh, the situation's out of reach. But you see, they're looking at the things you have in common. Uh, the, the, the things you have in common. It looks like people. That's why I feel like... Uh, there, there, for some of you, there's the storyline of someone who may have even been with somebody you know and they didn't tell you, but you already knew and you didn't tell them that you knew. <laughs> okay, or you just didn't care. So it's definitely that social circle. But there it is, justice and balance. Being fair has to do with doing things right. See, 
since I feel like you got to, you know, some of you too, like I say, maybe it's yourself. You don't want, you just want to be single. Maybe you both just kind of want to be single, you know, or you don't want to be. I don't know. I mean, that could go either way there, but I'm seeing that nine of pentacles twice, two single people. See, it has to do with reciprocating. See, someone taking advantage, wanting something. But it has to do with two people reciprocating, sharing. You see? So it's like you're both breadcrumbing or you're not telling each other. Uh, there's just a, it's just confusion, I feel. And the reading feels confusing, but there's definitely some very clear energy of two people who aren't 100% um, trusting each other. Or you're, you're mirroring each other and you're both very curious of each other. Maybe you're going to find out this person's actually single or they do find out you are because it looks like someone's finding out suddenly that someone's single. They may reach out. I don't know. You may have moved on if you know who it is. You may not feel the same. Okay, because maybe there's some kind of truth they need to tell you. Maybe they're worried if they tell you the truth, you won't feel the same about them too. So take care, guys. Let me know how it's going because... I, I, I don't feel like for some of you this is anything huge, but some of you definitely it's a person who acts single and they're actually not, but probably will, okay? But once they do, they may not talk to you. So that's why I feel just really pay attention to the details of the conversation. It's not what they are telling you, it's what they're not, okay? Take care. We'll see you soon.